hi everyone welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i am going to talk about the sql server performance issues so sometimes in a normal day-to-day -day activity we got a couple of requests from the application side the particular site or particular application is having the slowness issue or some kind of performance issues so while starting the troubleshoot i am going to discuss with you guys what are the things need to check when you are starting to you know troubleshoot for the performance slowness okay so before starting i would request to each and everyone whoever newly join on channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to visit channel playlist sql server dba around more than 180 videos which can help you day to day activity and if you are getting help please share to others as well okay this channel motive is you know uh, only to you know uh, give the help to each other and we can grow together okay so let me start quickly so mostly when suddenly you got a request from the application side particular query or particular you know uh, application having the slowness issue so what are the things you are going to check the firstly you are going to check whether the any blocking session or not okay any blocking session is there that that's definitely caused the slowness and you can see the you know uh, uh, whether the your maintenance jobs properly running or not whether it's a index whether it's a update stats okay and after that what you are going to check with the hardware level what are the performance for the disk response what is the io and what are the what is the memory and cpu utilization okay so i'm going to run this query okay i will give you this query and we'll see what is the benefit of one query so if you are hitting this one query this is very helpful as a admin work okay it will give you the nice report to you know analyze the particular issues okay so let me execute this query whatever the db having the particular issues slowness issues so you can execute on that and it will give you the re output i'm going to one by one let's see so firstly it will give the spid the percent completion the running time estimated time you know estimated completion time the command and the blocking session so what you need to check firstly as i told you you need to check the block process any blocking session is occurred then you need to identify the lead blocker and you need to you know discuss with the application team and then you need to take the permission to kill the lead blocker boss this is the lead blocker it which is causing the slowness because number of un number of process is waiting because of this process so you need to kill it or either you need to stop it from the application side okay so blocking session and then it's giving the db id you know and uh, you can see the db name it's giving which db name the query which query is running and then the execution plan which is very helpful i will talk it uh, later then you can see the cpu host name from where it's coming uh, which host it's coming this query and causing the slowness the login time when it's logging and from how many hours it's running which is very very important parameter need to identify even the some select query also running from the past five hours six hours and which is definitely will cause the performance issue because it will consume much cpu much uh, memory you know and the io will be high the login names from which login it's coming the you know status it, whether it's a runnable or it's in a sleeping mode the program name and then domain name and the user okay the username the anti user also it's giving so the sharing to this query uh, basically to you guys is motive is in a one query you will give the nicely uh, you know uh, reports to identify the slowness uh, for particular query and other details for what region it's occurring the slowness whether it's a blocking or whether it's a you know uh, from how long it's running the query whether how what is the utilization of cpu and who running this query execution plan if you click on execution plan it will give you the nicely uh, you know uh, graph for the execution plan you can take the screenshot and discuss with the application owner whether any recommended index is required or not so no need to run the separate execution plan with the, if you are using this uh, script it will give you uh, the entire details you can discuss now with the application owner whether any recommended index is required or not it will come to here 
if you check the you know uh, uh, the utilization of index how much cost it's happening you can check whether uh, you know uh, what type of scan happening either it's a seek or uh, you know scan a table scan so these are the parameters you need to identify although it's a you know, performance tuning is a very uh, you know huge big chapter you cannot but at present you can check these many areas which can really help to you know identify the real cause okay and so i will give you this query you can use it you can keep it handy because day to day activity suddenly you cannot you know find any good quant uh, quality of query and you can you know uh, get the result as quickly okay so you need to be handy this query this kind of query which can help you really help in a day to day activity because it's giving the summarize you know analysis in a one uh, frame okay so hope you got my point what i'm trying to say uh, uh, to analyze so when you are starting the any performance issues so these many these type of query really helpful to analyze the performance slowness okay i will give this query in the description you can take it from there you can use it if you are getting help please do subscribe and you can recommend the youtube thanks as well we'll meet you soon that's it for today till then bye bye thank you and keep watching